Something in the ethers has fallen, slowly, gently, not hard but with intention. It is a message, just for you. Right in the palm of your hand, it is intricate, it is subtle yet immensely important. A substantial gift, like a snowflake in the middle of July. It is one of the secrets of life, the one you've been seeking the answer for. It will open up your eye, force you to understand beauty, understand strength, and understand love. Remember its wisdom, its face, before it melts. Savage. What's cracking? It's your Uncle Seven Nine, the spiritual savage, here to uh, drop a message for you guys today. Um, if you could, please like, share, follow, hit that notification bell and that subscribe button. And remember to uh, select the all options that you know all of my uploads upload. You feel me? You feel me? <laughs> it's hump day. Where, where, where's the camel? Maybe I'll add a graphic. It's hump day. Yeah, well, I guess. Bunch. It is currently um, 9.14 a.m. on December 13th, 2023. So we're still in the 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 the, the, the seventy two hour moon foods uh, moon foods moon food phase okay Mo new moon phase for these moon foods out here doing this in magic let's get some thanks to my dad the most high God for bringing us here to commune with the divine at this given time dad I love you I appreciate you um, he gave me some words today I woke up with a little I hoped you liked the intro that was it, like this morning came to me so I think I you know I I really just appreciate the gifts that I've been given. Uh, and, and the courage to you know present them to the world at large or at small however it works you feel me um, but I did read the Bible verse of the day and it says you are harvesting in your field when you are harvesting in your field and you overlook, overlook a sheaf do not go back and get it leave it for the alien the fatherless and the widow so that the Lord your God may bless you in all the work of your hands so what I took from that is uh, you know don't be greedy you know, understand that you that you sh to share to 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 uh, to show gratitude um, for what you have, and that the and the Most High God will uh, provide your needs. Feel me? So it's kind of like you give what you get. If you you know, don't be greedy, don't be stingy, don't be selfish. Okay, I know it's hard for some people out there to understand that. You don't have to, I, and also too, you don't have to have everything because there needs to be something for other people. You feel me? That's what I heard. Um, I, uh, so thank you, Dad. I appreciate you. Uh, spirit guys, spirit teams, and law enforcement. Um, I um, I appreciate you very much. Thank you very much. I do, I do, I do, I do. And new subscribers, current subscribers, are OGs. Fucks with you. Um, intergalactic beings and galactic federation. Thank you. And Archangels, especially Archangel Michael. Please protect myself and the collective from these moon fools. He's on it. Okay. Uh, and to the, to the moon fools, I love you too. I just really wish y'all would get y'all shit together. Okay? So, and baby, you know what? They're special. They're very, they're very fucking special. And I love the fuck out of you. You feel me? In that order, Apple Orchard. All right, so check it out. I got a couple of things here. And then I'm going to get right to it because <laughs> look at these grooming her. That's so sweet. And then they gonna start fighting. I can tell you kind of. I don't know. They, they didn't get that shit from me. Well, one of them maybe might have been around, but you know, we went to. I got her a little bit of therapy. I did. Gave her some treats. But anyway, there's a couple of messages. So I have one. I'm gonna save that one for later. But um, you know, there's um, all this talk in uh, Tarot Land and in the spiritual streets. And even this even this even um, uh, you know is in the, the street streets, just like regular regular streets. But you know these people that um, this is and this is what I heard. Like this, Patoja is gonna start fighting. Uh, this is like from my spirit guide or an ancestor. I'm picking up for it's probably from an ancestor of mine. Um, you know, there's people that will do things behind your back in in the in the shadows. You know, um, under a cloak. Uh, these people are fucking cowards. Let's just face it, okay? Um, they got a problem with you because they have issues with themselves. That's what you got to remember. It is not about you. They may try to make it about you, but if you know that you haven't done anything to anybody or any of these people, remove. I'm, I'm, I'm learning this, and I have learned this. Take yourself out the situation. 
like just whatever but i mean i'm i'm i'm, I'm talking about it because this is I'm starting to understand that YouTube is a, is a spiritual is a spiritual warfare stomping ground, baby. We in this bitch to win it. It's already been won, but we still have to see it through. Um, and so, yeah, this is part of my job. You know, I'm giving you tools to defend yourself against these narmics. Oh my! But uh, they won't. They, they, you know, you just forget about it because they're too they're too pussy to call you out. They're too pussy to come to the forefront and say, "I got a problem with you," and this is my problem. So why? Why do they do that? Because they're not man or woman enough to face themselves. Okay, and that and that confrontation will force them into into a, a moment where they're like, where everybody's looking. Because I'm talking about do you doing all this shit behind the scenes? But see, the things that they do to you from behind the scenes is is uh, illuminated for every world to see, everybody to see. And so if they were to step come to the forefront, first of all, they got to show their face and say, I'm the I'm the punk bitch that's been doing all these things behind your back. They're never they're never gonna do that. No, nope. that's why the Most High is um, gives us these gifts of discernment, the third eye insight, um, that instinctual feeling that you get when you're around people, the, the heebie-jeebies or the jeepers creepers that you get. When you're around people, pay attention to those things. Um, but they won't ever come to the forefront. That's why the Most High is handling things the way that he's handling them now, because he's sick and tired of it too. You feel me? And so it's it's time for it's time for the it's because you know my thing about it is it's like oh you. Uh, you know, you take, it's the same thing with your kid. Oh, you want to be you doing all that shit, talking to the little boy outside? Take your ass outside and go fight. He, you, you shouldn't have been talking shit. Go, oh, I'm gonna beat your ass. I'm gonna beat your ass when you get done whooping his ass, anyways. But just for starting the shit. But you better go. You ain't finna make me look like no punk bitch. The devil's doing it to their ass too. Okay, trust and believe that shit. But the confrontation would force them to face themselves. They were in front of the world to see and go. So everybody can go, okay, they're there. What's your problem with this person? Uh, uh, um, um, yeah, they don't have a problem with you. They got a problem with themselves and they don't want to fix that. They don't want to, they don't want to confront their own issues. So they become confrontational with everyone around them. That's what I heard. And cause you know, I've been having a lot of these people from secret societies, um, come up against me. Or do things to me, like just gang stalk me, fuck with me, fuck with my money, fuck with my channel, and uh, there's 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 one person that has has is keeping this shit. Or I'm not gonna say. It. I'm telling you right now, there's one person that's that is uh, that has some pot set that has some that has some type of clout or has somebody with some clout that's protecting all of these people. But this is what the most I wanted me to tell you. I wrote it down. See. Um, whoever you have working on the inside of this secret society, this this high-ranking official is tired of your shit. This is what the, the most I put on me when I got up. Um, they're about to stop covering for you um, and sacrifice your ass uh, before they allow your actions to sacrifice, to become self-sacrificing. So before they end up going down the tube and going down the drain, their whole career is fucked up. They maybe even go to jail. They'll be publicly shamed. Um, they're gonna stop fucking with you, period. Because what they're what they're starting to realize is that this whole this the whole shit was kicked off because you got a problem with you, not me, no, but you. And see, I'm from a very particular age and time frame where, at a certain, I've, I've learned. I, go talk to some elders, younger people, nieces and nephews. Go talk to some elders and ask them what you know. This person doing this something. Now you might have some elders if you got some ancestors or elders that be like, shoot their ass. Don't do that, okay? Do not do that. But you're gonna have some some uh, some elders go. F who fucking cares? Like, now, if it's to a point where they're fucking with your money, your livelihood, where you live, and you know, I'm all ninety nine nine out of ten of those people are gonna go beat beat their ass or shoot them. But we're not gonna go that far, okay? Because the Most High and the Archangels in us is handling this shit. But the nine times out of ten, what I always learned is. As long as they don't put their hands on you, fuck them. You know who you are. Don't give them the energy. And and and, and I and, you know I I knew that. And so like I'm 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 you know I'm very grateful for what they've done to me. I am. And this is not me being cheeky. It's not me being a smart ass. Eight forty eight in the clock. This is true. I'm very grateful for all the things that that I've had to endure, that I've lived through, um, because. What I'm realizing is that it triggered something within me. Now, there was a period of time in my life where I was about maybe 19, between ages of 19 and 22, where you nobody could tell me shit. I was gonna do anything I wanted to do. I had I had um, the courage. I had the I had the moxie. I had the bravery. 
I had it in here that I could do anything I wanted to do. I was, you know, couldn't nobody, nobody fucking with me. I'm back to that point. I'm, I, and I'm getting what I'm saying is that take that advice from your uh, el- your, aunt, your elders, your aunts and uncles, whomever, and give that to your inner child. That inner child that's been afraid, that's been scared to step out there, that's been afraid to maybe defend themselves or speak up. Take that wisdom and give that back to them. Because I'm telling you now, at the ages of 19, 20, or 21, 22, because then that's when I started to, you know, I was really kind of going through some things, but I still wasn't no bitch. But around that age, wasn't nobody fucking. And if they fucked with me, they got their ass whooped. Or I clowned, I clowned their ass on the playground, the, the grown folks playground, the club, or out in the streets. You know what I'm saying? So what I'm telling you is that harness that 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 time in your life everybody has had a time in their life where they felt like they could do anything i don't care if it was when you was four i don't care if it when you were 12 you can do you you have a right again you have a right to feel powerful to feel invincible to feel like you can do anything in this world so long as it does not hurt anybody or yourself you feel me i'll be right back i'm just gonna pull a wild unknown animal um spirit deck I had a, I had some dreams last night, yo. And I I, I asked I asked uh, the Most High God before I went to bed, please answer some of these questions for me. Show me what it is you need me to see that will help me move forward, to help me understand better what's really going on. Boy, did those dreams come through. Uh, there was somebody though that I know has been spiritually uh, uh, fighting for me um, on this platform. I appreciate you, bro. I'm not gonna say his name because ain't nobody's business. Um, but he's, but he's, uh, he's somebody that I, uh, you know, he's, you know, follow, he's a man of God. He, p- he appeared in my dream last night to protect me from people that were my family and friends. They had me, um, like they were trying to lock me up at a, at a, a psych ward or, or some type of rehabilitation center. And, um, somebody was getting married. Somebody was just like a secret wedding as well. I remember everybody's face in the dream and I I didn't and it's you know I, I rarely I remember my dreams but it's very like when I remember when I can still see it like in full detail that means that shit is happening or happened or is going to happen or it's something that I that, that, the, that the universe the most high um, the ancestors want me to remember they wanted me to remember everybody I saw in that dream last night and I do and I do okay I'm just going to get you one of these oracle cards and I'll let you guys go because I'll come back later with a reading. What do you want us to know today, Spirit? Oh, just one. We got one. We got two. We got Fox and Sea Serpent. Yikes. All right, so still very beautiful cards, though. And it doesn't, you know, just like the Vulture. We got Fox and Sea Serpent. So we have something from the Earth and something from the water. So you could be an Earth sign, a Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, if this resonates with you, or you could be have a you know a water sign, a, a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. All right, let me see. Smart, strong partner or mate with a wise teacher. So like I said, you know, foxes could, but pay attention. You know what the book says is fine, but Fox and Sea, but Fox coming out means that somebody around you is being slick as fuck or maybe you need to be more cunning foxes are tricksters too so you could have a t- trickster spirit or trickster um i should probably read i got a i got a graphic novel uh called, titled trickster um it's a native american graphic novel of uh, trickster spirits i'm gonna read that shit today but the fox is an enchanting creature with plenty of mystique to grow around fox pers- fox personalities are skillful in business and also make great teachers they are quick to learn and adapt well to new situations. Foxes are ideal life partners as they commit to relationships for the long term and their natural charisma keeps things exciting. Fox energy helps us to stay true to those most dear to us. When this card appears, reconnect to those you love. Foxes, do, uh, foxes don't do well when they slip away. So if you're in balance, you're magical, ingenious teacher and monogamous. When you're out of balance, you're sneaky, unsure of your identity. And to bring yourself back into balance, get with a good partnership or make good connections. All right, so Sea Serpent, and then I'm out. 322 on the clock, somebody's birthday is March 22nd. That's my mother's birthday. All right, so Sea Serpent. So these this is, these are like the special oracle cards in the deck. Um, so healing emotional wounds and expressing desire. So you could be somebody in your fox energy. You could be this magical, uh, wise teacher. It's very adaptable to situations. 
you could be a Gemini. You really could. Uh, but take that energy as it resonates. But then there's a the sea serpent. And so, uh, let's see. So the sea serpent represents the energy of expression, whether it's emotions, creativity, sensuality, or desire. The sea serpent helps us move and direct our energy into healthy current, into a healthy current. When the essence of this card is imbalanced, we express ourselves creative or creative, cre ah, we express ourselves creatively and sexually without fear or shame. We know what we desire most. Our hearts are at ease and our relationships are meaningful and enduring. We loosen the grip of self-judgment and we let the cool waters of forgiveness into our, into heal our wounds. When the energy of the sea serpent is not yet activated, our emotions and creativity are left in the muddy waters. The current of expression stagnates in some areas of our lives and in others places its floods. It's important to remember, no matter what the waters of the, our emotional lives look like, the sea serpent loves us just the same. Like the mother, she wraps herself around us in a gesture of protection. She supports us as we learn to express our true nature. So what I just got from that, um, and it, it represents, oh, okay, so this is the chakra. So this is the second chakra. These, these oracle creatures that are in the back of the book. So this is the second chakra. That's the root chakra, isn't it? Let me see. Sacral chakra. My bad. Uh, this the sacral chakra is emotions, um, uh, feelings, emotions, and pleasure and intimacy. So you know you might be feeling a little uh, freaky, frisky. I don't like fr uh, frisky. Kind of makes me feel some kind of way. But uh, you might be feeling a little, you know, sexy. Let's just say that you might be feeling sexy. But the subtle energy of the sea serpent occupies the area of the um, Svadhisnana, Svadhisla, S-V-A-D-H-S-I-T-H-A-N-A, -A. figure it out, chakra, located deep within the pelvic bowl, right here. Uh, this chakra is known as our center of creativity and desire and is associated with wa the water element. The name I cannot pronounce translates as in her abode indicating this chakra is the home of the divine mother or kundalini herself i looked down i saw my mother's birthday so that's very highly significant um so this this 1212 portal is about uh it has a lot to do with uh you know uh your creativity your 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 inspiration to move forward to create things to to do something different and new uh the moon magic that's being done a lot of it oftentimes is womb womb magic um and so male or female your divine feminine energy your divine feminine's womb because that's where the creativity part comes from is being attacked so protect yourself um real quick before i go um yeah i like this appreciate it but um and then there's the golden egg so there's you, you somebody's about to get a golden egg like golden ticket you're about to get your golden egg you're about to get something's gonna hatch from this bitch that's what i heard uh but what 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 you want to do is I also want to mention too, whatever you do to protect yourself. I like spiritual. I don't really like baths. I like baths, but not not, not here. I want a big ass bathtub, you know, because it's kind of hard when you when you're tall, you got long legs to sit in those tubs and you just kind of sitting there. I don't really like sitting there like that. Just to be honest with you. OK, but um, so but you can do salt water baths. I put I buy I buy dead sea salt and I buy body wash. I used to do uh, not unscented body wash, but you can do it with scented body wash too, or it's body wash that has like oatmeal and stuff in it. Now the you pour salt in there and you know shake it. So when you take a shower, there you go. I also would just get like a regular bottle, uh, plastic bottle, like like an old shampoo bottle that you can squeeze um, and rinse it out really well and. Uh, Put salt in salt and make sea salt water and just rinse like if you to protect your crown chakra. Um, if you don't want to take a, a bath, but you can do that. But you can also get like incense and shit like that. You put salt in front of your doors. But I sleep with a hat on all the time. Damn sure do because that's when they come to attack. That's when you're most vulnerable to the the crown chakra attacks is when you're sleeping. Um, and that's when you receive downloads. So you the enemy will tr you know people doing witchcraft will try to download things into your brain while you are vulnerable while you are sleeping or when your spirit is roaming. You feel me? So you got to, you know, I wear a hat. A lot of people do. I used to wear head wraps all the time in high school. That's why I was so much smarter than everybody else. You feel me? But 
But no, nah, for real, people wear head wraps. I wear Scully cap, you know, Scully winter hats. Um, I'll wrap my head up sometimes too. But just protect yourself because these messages are uh, the collective energy. This is what's going on. We are in spiritual war times. We can't, I'll say that every day if I need to. But I appreciate it for, you know, you taking your time and allowing me to um, our crown chakras to, to, to co-mingle or mingle or whatever. But I, I'm going to close this out. Um, close, uh, close this. 911 was on the clock. So this is kind of important for people to hear. I hope everybody has a wonderful day. I'm your Uncle 790 Spiritual Savage. Remember, you grow, I grow, I grow, you grow, we grow together. It's always love and light around this bitch. And as always, deuces. <laughs>